Hey everybody, I'm going to do something with a power supply for an LED light tube. I acquired a set of four foot daylight LED tubes that were supposed to work in a unmodified fixture, but that wasn't the case. Putting in the unmodified fixture caused them to get hit by the starter. And you can see it blew out the little fuse trace in there. It also took out two diodes and the capacitor. Everything else is okay, but that stuff got blown up. So, you know, these are cheap, but I had uh, some old LED light power supplies around that I was able to steal some parts off of. And I have two of these tubes that need to be fixed. So I figured I'd try and rebuild this driver, see if it works. If not, you know, I'll spend 15 bucks on a new one. So first things first, let's uh, zoom in so you can see. Nice high quality Cheng X capacitor. You know, that's a name brand, of course. I got another pile of parts for the second one over here. But first, let's put the capacitor in. You have the negative goes down. The positive is on the top. And that's a 4.7 at Next, we have these diodes. And the diodes go with the uh, stripe facing that way. And then the other side. That now the part open on the pad right here. I will just use the, uh, the fuse, this guy. That'll jump from here to here. Oops. Well, so that wasn't soldered down all the way. Good to know. or I heated it till the point where it popped loose. But looking at the other pad, it doesn't look like it was soldered all the way. There's one side. Yeah, much nicer. And I'll just add a little bit here as well. Yeah, okay. So then this will go to this pad and the oops, pardon me. The incoming power will go to the pad next to it. I like that. That's pretty good. I can just kind of fold it over so it'll still fit inside the uh, the tube. So that's good. All right. So that means let's let's just tin that and then we'll trim it. Get some fresh solder on there. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's a. Uh, huge storm going on right now. We have a big old nor'easter rolling through this area. All right. So these are the LED strip and that's one of the power leads from the pins on the other end of the light. I'm going to do the same thing. Just kind of get some new solder on there. Uh, we'll 
I'll trim this. So we definitely don't need all that. And we'll put this one on the fuse side. There we go. There's silver solder in there. It makes it a lot harder to get a good connection. You have to get some real solder in there. Okay, so let's set that over here and then this wire is the other line in. Neutral maybe. There we go. We'll just make sure we don't have any shorts. Alright, continuity's happy. Now we'll go to diode. like I might have uh, those other two might be bad I should just change them all you know what I'm gonna do that let's take these back off it's easier to work on are these no good maybe oh these are shocky diodes they are not rectifiers so these need to come off well that's fine that actually brings me to my uh, second idea which is just to take all of these off I'll go through these later and instead I'm gonna harvest the uh, bridge off of this okay so what I did was trim this with the Dremel you can see I cleared out where it was connected so now I have a pad, a pad, a pad, and a pad, because that's negative, positive, and then we have AC here and here. So we'll set that in place. And then let's uh, do that one first. That'll hold it. like that. Now, we can do this. That side. We'll bring this back in. zoom back out and just check it with the meter all right like that you can kind of see the uh, skid mark where the uh, starter and the original fixture blew that up. So we just have to solder these back on. Jeez, that wind. There's solar panels on the roof and I can hear them being strained by the wind. Luckily they're, you know, rated for couple hundred you know 150 200 miles an hour all right so that's all good now the next thing I really don't need to wrap tape around it but around the uh, 110 
I'm gonna put a little bit. Doesn't need it. It's all in a spot where nothing's gonna really be a problem, but you know, better do it right. So then this flips around. gray wire is just a little tight guess I've trimmed it one too many times come on just a little more mm, there we go and there's nothing on the back of the board to short out this is exactly how it came assembled then let's see let's get those wires tucked in there we are and then the cap slides on right there like that and that should work now 110 one side here the other side comes in there so let me set up a uh, test rig so we can plug this in now I have it mounted in this uh, modified housing where it's just, you know, 110 hot and neutral. So let's turn it on and we should have light. Hey, there we go. Nice and bright. So now I can fix the other one. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the, the comments. Um, subscribe and all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching.